Deer protection for young seedlings. Mm. Um, you're interrupting my lunch here, but with the, uh, the cost and labor and time involved in planting and establishing tree seedlings, it is critical to protect from deer and even rabbit damage. The first thing to assess is what's damaging your young seedlings. So deer browse often looks shredded and kind of ripped up. Rabbit browse actually looks like someone took a pruner at a 45 degree angle and sliced it off neatly. So that's the first step. See what's actually hitting your young seedlings. Now for deer, high fences, multi-strand fences are often very costly and don't really get the job done. Um, deer can jump incredibly high and they can actually maneuver between those strands of barbed wire, believe it or not. If anyone's seen a tuft of hair on one of those, um, you know what I'm talking about. Now this is a little bit more labor intensive, but it's very effective. This is called the 3D fence. And you'll notice here there's three hot wire strands and actually it's combined with a rabbit preventative hot wire mesh behind it if we're protecting against both critters. Now you'll notice this is only one strand on each line here. The reason this is so effective is the two strands at different heights really mess with the deer's depth perception. Troy, hey, easy. I don't know if I'm going to touch this now. He's messing around. Bzz, 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 ah! Troy! All right. If fencing is not uh, practical for you, another effective means of protecting seedlings are tree tubes or also called tree shelters. These are plastic sleeves. Usually you buy these in bulk. Ideally, they have perforations in them and they have ventilation holes in them. Now the ventilation holes help the seedling harden off before winter. The reason that those holes are there is because this tube creates a, a mini greenhouse condition in the tube, which enhances growth. But if it's too warm too late in the season, the tree can be susceptible to early frost. So having those ventilation ports in there is very critical and you'll see the perforations on the tube are designed to split or pop open once that tree reaches that diameter. It's very important to have a solid stake and preferably metal, a T-post or a piece of rebar. And that rebar or T-post needs to extend up to near the top of that tube. If not, the wind can blow and fold that tube over and block out and be damaging to the tube and to the, the seedling itself. Okay. Having this wimpy little wooden stake halfway up, not going to cut it. That thing's going to blow over, snap in half, and damage your seedling. Because the tubes are plastic and they're designed to pop open, they have less permanence than cages. If you notice in the tubes, there's not much room to wiggle around for the seedling, so it doesn't really get supportive and stout against the wind. You'll notice too that tubes, with that microclimate they create, the seedlings are gonna pop out of those very, very quickly. Here's my tube, protecting this bad boy here. That rebar should be a little bit taller, but uh, I was kind of tired that day. I didn't want to take anything heavy out in the field. One thing to think about in winter with tubes, if they're not ventilated, you need to raise them up in the fall so the seedling knows that winter's coming and it starts to harden off. Also, when you raise them up in the winter like that, that reduces the chance of a mouse or a vole getting in there, overwintering, and potentially gnawing on the bark. Now there's pros and cons with cages and tubes. It really comes down to your preference and what resources you have on hand. Cages, cages like tubes have pros and cons. Similar concept though, you really want a sturdy support system. So T-posts or rebar are critical. And think about the height of deer brows, right? Four or five foot minimum, the height of that cage. And mesh too. The mesh size of your, of your wire material, bigger is fine for deer, but if you're addressing rabbit issues or, or mice, a smaller, maybe chicken wire size mesh around the base is helpful to keep those critters out as well. One great thing about cages is that they promote wind firm seedling. Cages allow for free movement and they produce a more stout seedling right off the bat. The cages have the advantage for wind firmness. These are rabbit sleeves. These are actually quite helpful the first few years for small seedlings. They're made of plastic. They come with wood stakes. They're only a temporary protective measure. Now, with both of these, cages more so, you really got to monitor to see, A, if they're doing their job, if they've broken down, but also, how big is your tree getting? So this cage, it's got a good height, it's got a good support system with the rebar, but it is quite small. So it is definitely time to resize this or even remove it before that tree starts contacting that wire and honestly starts enveloping that wire through growth. This really needs to be renovated or removed altogether. And 
And you're probably asking, when do I remove these things? Look at the bark on this. So the bark is getting pretty darn thick and furrowed, which is a good protectant against buck rubbing and other things that might damage the bark. So depending on your species, when to remove the tube or the cage is essentially when is it out or free from deer herbivory or buck rubbing with their antlers. Now this one is definitely past the time where it needs to be removed. Uh, I'm gonna have to go grab Hank and talk about this. This is, uh, I'm not sure what was going on here, but this is actually um, nearly girdling the tree. So this was probably put in 10, 15 years ago, maybe forgotten about, and uh, it's now the time that this is actually starting to damage the tree. So doing the opposite effect of what we what we want to, to occur. So this needs to be removed immediately. Another thing with cages is they get hidden in brush. So over time, when you're out pruning or doing other activities, watch your saw, watch your UTVs, because anytime you have metal in the woods, uh, there's a good chance you're going to get into it or hitting it with something you don't want to hit it with. Protect your seedlings against deer. We'll see you in your hopefully protected woods.